Hey everyone, it was really great to see so many posts about the Aurora this week. Awesome you guys got to see it, and for many of you it was the second time this year after basically never having seen them before. But not too many people are asking, why all of a sudden are we seeing them so well? You may have heard that it is sunspot maximum. True, but that happens every 11 years. Yes, we had a solar flare release a CME at Earth, but that has happened hundreds of times in just the last decade. This one was big, but not that big. So why have we had these auroral sightings this year, now, when much bigger events have hit us in the past and went largely unnoticed? Well, apart from the solar activity, the main factor in the production of aurora is Earth's magnetic field, and it has been weakening. You may have heard we are in the beginning stages of a magnetic pole shift, a rapid one. The magnetic poles are moving. The overall magnetic protection of our Earth is fading, which is why these recent solar events are producing much more aurora than would normally be expected. These magnetic pole shifts are also called geomagnetic excursions, and they happen cyclically on our planet. This last week we saw aurora in Florida. That is extremely rare. And this solar storm didn't even hit the highest storm levels. Aurora was seen at the Mexico border. Wild. Aurora in the tropics? Cuba, Puerto Rico. Absolutely ridiculous, especially for a solar storm that didn't hit level 5. Let's do a bit of background on these magnetic pole shifts, shall we? About 6,000 years ago, we had a magnetic pole shift, a mini excursion like this with Earth's magnetic field. It was called the Tianqi event. 12,000 years ago, it was Gothenburg. 18,000 years ago, it was Helena Pauli. 24,000 years ago, it was Lake Mungo. You guys seeing a pattern? We know of several others in the last 100,000 years, including Mono Lake, Le Champ, and the Vostok event, all within the last 60,000 years. Essentially, we have this magnetic excursion on Earth about every 6,000 years. It has been 6,000 years since the last one, and it is already starting to happen again. Based on the speed of the changes, we're looking at about the 2040s for a full magnetic pole shift peak of the event. Now, if it was just about pretty lights in the sky, I would say, who cares? But it's not. During these events, the weaker magnetic field of Earth allows extra ozone depletion. It changes the jet streams. It allows more cosmic radiation to enter the atmosphere, and it disrupts animal navigation that relies on Earth's magnetic field. That's why the studies identify these magnetic shifts as being extremely dangerous, extinction-inducing events for many species. And now, on top of all of that, humans have an electrified way of life we rely on, and that's at greater risk due to solar activity as well. Imagine that while the atmosphere is changing and radiation is surging and the food chain is taking hits like Jenga, we lose power, heating, water purification and distribution. No internet, no cell phones, no banks, no ATMs, no gas stations, no refrigeration of food. That's why this matters. As we said, it is due in time right now in the cycle. It is already begun. And we're seeing the early signs that our planet is in a shields down situation with these above average auroral sightings. Follow here for much more, including daily updates on the sun, earth, relevant science, and of course the magnetic pole shift. Be safe, everyone.